bonafire pan de pork. Because it's the only way we're gonna cook it, right? Yo, in today's episode, we're gonna be doing a crispy pork belly dish. Now, pork belly, as I became an adult, I started learning more about it. I, I've never had it in my dishes before as a kid, so this for me is a great opportunity to try different ways of doing pork belly. If you guys did watch our outdoor cooking episode when we did a barbecue pork belly, let me tell you, mm, muy magnifico. Did I just mix Italian and Spanish? I don't even know, but that's a pork dust to you. All right, so anyway, we're going to be doing it in a completely different way. It's still the basic concept of pork belly. So. Just to give you guys a quick run up about the pork belly, if you want to get it really crispy, you basically have to dehydrate the skin overnight. And that only works with salt. Even though Jamaican people will tell you, yo, when you're salt, that's not a good thing. But for pork, it's definitely a good thing. Let's do it. So here we have a pretty nice pork belly. Um, it's definitely looking to have you know nice layers of meat here. This is basically the best one that I could get in Jamaica from the butcher at the moment. But anyway, we're going to work with it. Basically, what we're going to be doing is to score the meat, meaning we're going to cut some lines in between it so that the pork can actually crisp up really nicely. And I'm going to be doing kind of like a, a rum jerk pork belly. That's going to be the whole idea. So first, we're going to dry this off. You know salt, we don't want too much water with it, so we're going to take off as much moisture as we can out of it. We already did um, wash the pork in some vinegar water so we have it nice and clean. So let's dry it up a bit. Alright, so we have about, uh, about a full teaspoon of jerk seasoning that we're going to put on top of this pork here to give it a nice little season up on the meat section. The jerk seasoning, as you guys know, is full of flavor. It's going to be a nice little marinade. I don't need to even add, add any salt into it. The brand that I'm using right now is the Walker's Wood Variety. Maybe I can add a little bit more to that. Just, gonna add just a little bit more to make sure that everything goes on really well. Just gonna rub that in. Make sure the sides get it. So good, I can tell it's gonna be really good. All right, and then the next step is to flip it over. All right, so for this side, see, had a little bit of moisture, of course, naturally. So I'm gonna dry it a bit, dry it again, and then we're gonna start scoring. All right, so for this part, you're definitely going to need a sharp knife. That is an obvious thing because pig skin is generally it's kind of hard to cut through. I think this should be good enough, hopefully. But you're cooking at home, so you're not quite worried about, you know, how well it's cut the road travel. If it's cut in symmetrical lines, if you're cooking for like a restaurant in there, that's a big deal. But a knife is good enough to cut through and score the top. So that's what we're going for. Not all the way to the to the lean parts, just at the top of the fat. I'm just going to make some lines through it and then we should be good. Alright, so here we have this um, rum salt. I, I just went to the store where I got the pork belly and I thought this was just freaking amazing rum salt. Like rum and jerk sounds like a really great idea, right? The basic ingredients for this is just um, some Appleton Estate Reserve blend. We have pimento and some rock salts and that's basically it. So we're going to put that on top. Wow, that smells really good. Now, salt is very important when it comes down to a good pork belly, so do not skimp on the salt because you're trying to make sure the skin gets as dehydrated as possible, so it's going to really crackle up. 
as soon as you put it into the oven. I'm just going to basically just rub that in all onto the top. And then we're going to flip it and lay it flat in a pan. So we have some of the salt already there. And we're just going to put it on top of that. And then we're going to leave it overnight to marinate and then we can finish it up in the oven. Alright, so now that the pull is open, it's been marinating for quite some time overnight. Meat looks really good. What we're going to do here is to flip it over. If you look closely on it, it's definitely wet and that's going to happen because of the salt for sure. What I'm going to do is to again pat it dry and then we're going to add some more salt to it. Look at that. That's all of that fluid that the salt pulled out. Alright, so got rid of most of the moisture. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt onto it. Well, not salt, a little bit of oil onto it, and I'm gonna add some more salt because that's what's gonna make it crackle up a lot. Remember, salt is like the main ingredient to get this very crispy. And then we're just gonna lift up our meat here. I'm just gonna wipe the bottom of this because I'm trying to get rid of as much moisture as I can. Remember, crispiness and moisture it just doesn't go together. Crispiness and salt. Sounds a lot more logical, right? Alright. And the reason why I'm throwing it down like this, most of the times if you cook like pork or beef or anything like that, you realize as soon as it starts to crisp up, it starts to like curl or raise or something of that sort. I don't want that. So I'm gonna do, I'm trying to get it as much as I can on the skin, skin side down. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use another one of these. If you have something that's bigger that can, you know, add more to it, then definitely do that. And then I'm gonna pop it into the oven. Oven the temperature I'm dropping it at is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I remember once I said to some, I said like, I probably said 400 degrees Celsius and someone was like, what? I'm like, come on bro, like, who cooks at that high temperature? It must have definitely been a mistake. So anyway, pop that in and I'm gonna leave that in there for about an hour. All right, so I just gave it a quick flip just now. Um, I'm gonna leave it in the oven for another about 20 minutes or until I see the top part is getting really crispy. There's a part of the skin here that fell off. So tender. So this definitely took a lot longer than an hour and 10 minutes. How I would say is just do it until you see the ear crackling and you can feel it like this. Because it depends on how much fat is on the pork. Sometimes the pork has to kind of render out a bit, meaning the fat is going to start dissolving into, you know, oils and stuff like that. But let me try this. Pretty 
piece of this with the, the meat on the inside to see what it's like. crispy and juicy. Look at that man. Mm. I definitely prefer the insides to be quite honest. I mean the crusty part is, is nice. A bit too salty for me. But right in here? Mm. Really nice and tender. All right, if I'm honest with you, it has nice flavor. It's really good. I think the, the skin is nice and crispy and everything like that. But I probably would prefer if you guys could get like um, pork belly that has more layers, like a thicker layer so you can get more meat to it. Because if you're not a person who, I mean, I like pig skin. I think it has rich, rich, rich flavor. But when it feels like you're eating a lot of pig skin only, then you might be like, oh. It's a nice like a delicacy but not for like dinner per se. But apart from that, it's really good. My cousin's actually doing some potatoes and rice and we're gonna definitely gonna eat that and see how well it goes together. Alright, so I got my plate going. Um crispy pork belly, some sorrel jelly and some white rice. I'm gonna have that and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it. Uh, as I said before, or I don't even remember if I said it, but yeah, this kind of meat's better when you have it, you know, a lot more lean meat on it and not so much fat it tastes really really good but you could tell like yo mm, it's kind of unhealthy but <laughs> all right let's do it all right so i just had some oil ago with some rice and stuff ate that came back for another piece i ain't gonna lie like this part oh my gosh it's like pulled pork it's really good up here for me it's just a little bit too much like i can't eat too much of it but here, oh my gosh, it's really, really, really good, especially with the sour jelly. It's the whole vibe. All right, cuz, what do you think about this uh, crispy pork? For me, for me, the, as I just said, the lean part. The best part. It's the best part. Best part. Yeah, it's the best part. I like, I like the, the, the underneath part, the crust with the, 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 the At the jerk. base of it yeah. with the jerk, yeah, yeah like that, that was part. good. That was good. The, the, the top part, not for me. Yeah, it's not my, it's not my kind of thing. If you're the person who loves like pig skin, like mm -hmm. whatever, I guarantee you, you're gonna enjoy it. But for me, I like pig skin, but when I have to really search for it, if you give me too much of it, mm -hmm. <laughs> nah. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember to see things, love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep the link. Yeah.